Hey guys, so here is a trigger that uh, workflow, this is a template actually, that uh, you can just quickly install that will send a Slack message when your inventory runs low. Uh, so here's how it works. Uh, this is the trigger, inventory level updated. And then we have a filter that looks at that level and says, hey, is this less than equal to three? Uh, you can modify all that. Um, custom code step that's actually grabbing uh, product and variant titles, just because those don't come through in the initial trigger. Um, if you want to get gnarly into that code, you can look there. Uh, but that's not something you'll have to deal with. Um, and then you uh, send a Slack message. And uh, I've got this going to my testing channel. And you've got your little template. And uh, so that's it. Pretty simple. And um, always uh, fun to do a little test. You can see I tested a couple times preparing for this video. Um, automation did not meet the conditions of this step. Oh yeah, because I just adjusted the, the levels to 20. So it's saying, hey, it, it's not a low inventory uh, case. And one of the cool things about the testing flow, which comes in handy a lot of times, you can say, hey, skip that test because I want to test my flow even though it's not, the production data isn't, isn't matching those conditions yet. And then you can go ahead and run that through. So that's how that works. I uh, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any uh, questions about how it all works.